New video fresh on your box. Stop clicking, watch. Ready yet? Get set. AMG's all black. What is up, my people? It is your boy AMG here, and today we're going to be live reacting to One Piece the Wano trailer. Now, I was actually supposed to be live reacting to One Punch Man, but that is not coming out today because of the French Open, and they kind of air at the same time, One Punch Man Episode 9 Season 2, so that will be coming out next week on June 12th. So let's be reacting to this, and I've been wanting to see this, and uh, I can't wait for this to come up in the anime. It might we probably got like I want to say like four weeks, the beginning of June. Well, July is gonna start, July seventh. So let's get it. Oh, the colors look beautiful. Oh, it has a Japanese feel too, cause the outline, like the art. Okay. <laughs> the slash. Wait, who's fighting in the street? Oh, the Tengu and everybody, Kurumasaki. Oh, Toko. Okay, so things that I'm seeing. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna get a little bit more of Zoro's backstory and stuff because it doesn't seem like that that part where he was walking through the, you know, those cherry blossoms. I've never, that was not in the manga. That has to be something different. Um, the part where we see shadows of dudes fighting in the street. I'm wondering what that's gonna be because that might be like maybe the witching hour boy. So I'm not entirely sure what that is. Maybe the witching hour boy coming to get someone, like fighting someone off. Like when he's stealing from a noble, they're trying to fight him and he has to kill them or something like that. Or it may be Kamazo the Manslayer and that he was fighting somebody and taking somebody out for Orochi, who knows. Um, We got to see Otoko. <laughs> and we got to see the Tengu. Now the Tengu, he looks dope. He looks real dope. He has silver whitish hair, which is interesting. I never would have. That's a, his choice of coloring. Is that's interesting. The whole like all of Wano is interesting. It looks like I don't know. It just so colorful and bright and everything. And I remember Oda talking about how he wasn't able to how in Japan back in that era they weren't able to wear certain colors because a lot of colors were outlawed and maybe that was because they didn't want them to be so individualized so they kept them like certain colors and kept them like in dark colors but with this he was like so i want everybody to be bright and vibrant and you know to feel like a wonderful and happy place kind of thing and that's what you can definitely see that carrying over to that you know sbs interview he did a while ago so that's very interesting um <laughs> we got to see zoro Use the seppuku knife and cut the magistrate and his house in half. So, yo, <laughs> that was nice. And then the wind that came off that, yeah, that was, that was some good animation right there. Man, I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see Kaido. I can't wait to see all the people that are going to be in this arc. Man, this is going to be... They can't do anything like they have been with the Revy, how I'm hoping so. So I'm guessing Juwano just just be amazing in the anime. Cause there's some stuff that they could even talk about that they didn't get to show in the manga because they didn't have enough time or there wasn't a good way to put it in the panels or anything. And that's the one thing I like about the One Piece anime because it does do some stuff sometimes and it'll show you stuff that happened that you didn't that you never would have noticed in the manga at all. But anyway guys like the video if you like the video comment down below if you have anything you want to say and subscribe for more content from me yeah boy amg and remember anime manga gaming is all that and i'm out people peace for 30 minutes don't touch that dial don't interrupt right now tell mama fall back because another all that coming up right now